Right, a couple of quick tips for Amy, uh, just on how to scan for the appropriate spot when you're doing an adductor canal block or an apex of the femoral triangle block. There's three main ways that you can start this off. So in order from easiest to most accurate, uh, we're trying to find where is the best spot to do your adductor canal block. Remember the nomenclature can be a bit confusing. There's adductor hiatus, adductor canal, apex of femoral triangle, or femoral triangle. Probably where you want to be is the apex of the femoral triangle, or proximal adductor canal. It's probably the best bang for buck. There's three ways of finding this spot, uh, and from easiest and least accurate to most accurate, uh, that would be chucking your probe on in the mid thigh. So draw a line between the patella and the anterior superior, anterior superior iliac spine. Go halfway between that and do your block there. Now, if you're trying to do a adductor canal block, you're going to be too high. That's probably most of the time um, in the femoral triangle. Um, so remember, you can be a bit higher than you expect if you want to call it an adductor canal. The next way of doing it, and some studies do this, is they look at the sartorius, which is what we can see on screen here, and they look at the relationship between the artery and the sartorius. So is the artery on this side, the middle, or on this side? And they use that to differentiate, but that doesn't make any sense to me, because if you're going to the effort of chucking a probe on and looking at anatomy, you might as well do it properly and find where the apex of the femoral triangle is. So remember that the apex of the femoral triangle is where it's defined by that junction between the sartorius and a ductal longus. Well, if you chuck your probe a little further away from you, you can see that. So let's do that. So we've got our probe here. We've got a couple of things we can see already. We've got sartorius here. And we've got the superficial femoral artery here. We've got a vein here. We've got some gunky stuff here, which is what we're interested in. We've got a couple of little dudes here, which is probably the cuties, which are the femoral cutaneous uh, nerves, maybe. Uh, and let's see what happens. So we start the scan. Pluck, chucked our probe on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move, eventually, we're going to move the probe away from us. And as we do that, we um, shift the artery off, off screen. We don't really care about that anymore. And we're looking medially. So this is the medial aspect of the leg. Remember, in the medial aspect of the leg is where the adductors are. And that's what we're interested in. We want to find where the junction between sartorius, so this bad boy here, and the adductor longus is. And now this is all a bit of gray goo. So to work out what is what within the gray goo, we need some movement. And the next most important thing is you want to scan up and down the leg. So we, let's just go back for two seconds. We've chucked our probe on. Uh, we've used the sort of mid part of the thigh. We've chucked our probe on. We've pushed it away from us. We've come to find sartorius. We've found the artery. The next thing you want to do is you want to move the probe away from you and you're focusing here. So you're focusing on sartorius, which is a structure you already found. And we're looking for the most medial aspect of sartorius here. So this is our focus. Now, drop down a centimetre or so, and we're looking within the grey mush. We want to see if we can find a muscle in this grey mush. And look at that. Can you sen see the sense that there's some sort of triangular uh, muscle here with a separation here? So that's because there's two muscles. This is the adductor longus, and this is the adductor magnus. Where the adductor longus joins to the sartorius, forming like an apex, is the apex of the femoral triangle, and that lets us know that we're about where we want to be. And you can see how it comes in and out of view as we scan up and down the leg. So as you scan up the leg, the ductal longus becomes bigger, and as you go down the leg towards its termination, it becomes smaller, and magnus becomes more prominent. As you go down the leg, you're coming towards more of the true adductor canal. As you go up the leg, you're coming towards the apex of the femoral triangle, and then the femoral triangle. Scoots the probe back across to us now, and we're looking for a landing zone probe block, and we're interested in a few things. We don't want to damage cuties, they're up here, and we want to find um, the saphenous and the nerve tabasus medialis. So nerve tabasus medialis is somewhere in here. And that's what we're trying to open up now. So we're popping between um, vastus medialis and sartorius, doing a few injections and seeing what we're getting. Here's a sense there's nerve there. I'm going to try a little pop. There we go. Let's do some hydro dissection and see what we get. Looking all right. So we can say that this is probably nerve tissue here. And I got the sense that uh, saphenous is becoming more prominent here. So you could probably just inject a whole bunch of local, particularly now after that redirect, you could probably drop a whole bunch of local and call it a day and cover everything. But I'm pretty sure I did a little bit of fiddling. There's a good sense, I'll pause it here, can you get the sense that there's a separate fascial compartment here and here? It's because there is. And then we're just tweaking the saphenous part of this injection now. So arteries here, we'll probably pop in somewhere around 10, 11 o'clock, just to see if we can't improve that spread a little bit. For all intents and purposes, you can probably just inject here and call it a day.
get the sense of a little pop in a second. And you can tell that there's um, a lot more differentiation around that saphenous nerve. And a bit more local. Sweet as. Now I've got another one which I'll try and find. Boink, probe on, and we've got femur. So we know that we are, we're too lateral. So we've sort of, you know, put it on far too lateral. We need to push the probe away from us, which is what we do. Probe away, bam, sartorius is in view, arteries in view, veins in view. But next step, we want to we want to go away from it. So this is the direction that the the needle would be coming from. We want to confirm our uh, our level, how high up the leg we are. So across we come. There you go, beautiful adductor longus muscle, adductor magnus here, and you can see them forming an apex. Scan up and down, see them coming together. Yep, there we go, apex femoral triangle coming across. Nerve to vastus medialis here, saphenous in there somewhere, out of vein right in our way. So what I've decided to do here is open up um, plane between sartorius and, and the vastus medialis. You can see that's opening up nicely. Needle's going to come through nerve to vastus medialis here. And you get the sense that there's no local going here. So this is where SAF is, and there's, you know, there's no spread here. You could probably drop a whole bunch, rely on volume, and, and hope that it spreads there eventually, but you know, it can be a bit more accurate than that. All right, so we've got a decent amount of um, local there for nerve tabastus. So we're going to come back with it's drawn. I've got a sense there's a sliver of darkness there, which is what I'm going to try and aim for. I want to see if I can open up that. I'm trying to sound smart. Man, it's a time that you talk about the vasto-adductor membrane. It becomes a bit more prominent further down the leg. And then a little bit of injection, not doing what I want. A little pop in. There we go. Now what that's doing is it's lifting muscle off the fascia. It's kind of like a rectus sheath box. So again, that's not the spread you want. Um, so I'm going to pop in here next to the artery. Nerve somewhere here. Little pop there. Bit of local. Bang, there we go. So now you can see a beautiful nerve there. We know we've got nerve to vastus medialis. These are genetic killers. We talk about that some other time.